called uh, the fun input I'll input a function called uh, 256 from the hash lib okay from hash lib import I'll import called sat 256 function okay then I'll set a max noise over here so now we need this number this is the maximum number of attempts that it will uh, work right, it will uh, mine then we got a d sorry Dave I'll call a function over here uh, sat function sat 256 if you want to just fast forward the video because I want to explain everything to you and if you don't want the explanation you can just fast forward okay text uh, actually it's been long uh, I didn't see that caps lock was my own wait okay, text next line we'll just return it sat 256 text dot encode two brackets close which is x yeah yes just like it Dave. Mine. So mine is a function you can see we are setting a function and we just concat two, two four things one will be a block number then next will be a transaction uh, transaction next will be our previous hash the next will be our prefix zeros okay so currently it will give you some errors and it will also fix time time prefix then we will set a string over here then zero asterisk prefix underscore zdr zeros next line for nonce in range then again we call that max nonce that the um, multi that the final attempt it will take then we call a text still then block number block underscore number set transactions plus then again we call previous hash plus string nonce right. when as well as pieces come to the next line then we'll set a new hash share 256 then text t e x e text next line oh uh, sorry i'll uh, actually let my cast up on that then you have then uh, we'll uh, open our if then we'll set a new hash dot start with start with uh, then in the prefix mode set as prefix star sorry uh, prefix underscore stair so it will say what what the hell is this prefix or prefix star then we'll do one thing remove the first bracket first the next we'll just print from some statements over here for example f then in the double quote sites uh, write value of okay like the value of crypto that has been transacted to your ID, the user must know that okay, this number of uh, transaction has made over my ID. So just call a nonce object over here. Right? Then crypto mind. Crypto mind successfully. You can, if you want, you can print yourself because it's your uh, miner, so you can print anything else if you want. Let's come to the next line. We'll print one more statement in the name of uh, amount will be added. To your transaction ID and make sure your transaction ID is active so that you can add that so this is my transaction ID I'm just giving it come to the next line uh, then print then we just will return the new hash new hash save it come to the next line then uh, in the below the for loop if uh, just call raise base exception exception then if then double quotes couldn't find this will be a, like if your mining is not successfully made then it will uh, return your uh, like what your error message if you want you can uh, keep another yeah if you don't want then just keep any or nothing added to your crypto balance it is up to you how it will work correct i uh, couldn't find correct as after trying then just uh, put your max noise like how many times we have mined you can say it over here max noise is the maximum number you know that this time uh, this is the maximum number that our mine will work times yes times okay now just come to the next line then we'll open up if name if name equals to equals to single quote main main underscore okay. next line if name underscore underscore double quote mm -hmm. okay. so now we'll just put a transaction over here transaction so in the transaction please keep uh, your name okay so it's up to you that how you do it or if you want you can put it blank so currently i'm just giving it blank and make sure you bring this uh, ID to the next lines. Okay, now head over to difficulty. 
so dp equal t equals to 4 okay this equal t equals to 4 like from the four level it will work over now we'll just import time that how uh, we need to know that uh, how much the mining took uh, for this this much second that much second mining successful completed in our result page you also will get it input time then start equals to time dot time time okay no, no, uh, uh, accelerate by wrong uh, by mistake i just gave time time just made it my times just give it time okay save it then come to the next line below start in the sprint a statement called mining on progress so you saw that the user may be notified that okay our mining is on progress progress or even the mining has started anything you want it's up to you that how you how the message will print print mining ended full stop come to the next line give it new underscore hash equals to mine then give it five comma transaction now you need your transaction id over here transaction equals to uh not equals to comma then in a single quote you'll need your transaction id I just copy it from here and paste it okay so this successfully pasted my transaction id then comma then difficulty print the difficulty come to the next line then total underscore time i was here any time so yes here store then first bracket open and close put a time dot time first bracket minus starts uh, then we come to the next line print then print one more message called in my mining took now we'll print that uh, how many seconds our mining took so mining took then curly brackets total underscore time okay, don't forget to keep the space because while printing it will may return some value that you don't want it is seconds okay so this is the value uh, sorry this is the print statement you want then come to the next line of course then start printing one more thing mm, uh, sorry sorry sorry, sorry actually. Hmm. so after this so let's save it and I'll open my debug and make sure the Python is installed in a Visual Studio Code. If you're using Python, then no problem. That make sure you, if you're using Visual Studio Code, make sure Python is installed inside your computer. Run a debug, Python file. So it is open, it will open my terminal window here. Crypto, cell, man file. Mining progress, mining ended. So here we're finding some errors. So let's find out that what the errors we're finding. Some is transactions not found, right? So this is the error. I guess it will be a transaction. Okay. So let's remove this, cut this and save. Let's check whether it is working or not. So this was the errors that uh, we have made prefix zeros uh, actually is extra potent the ve over here and the transaction is we are just by mistake okay so everything is correct now so i'll just run once more for uh, any error let's come okay mining on progress mining ended value of uh 390 oh no crypto mine successfully amount will be added to transaction id mining to, uh, this much seconds look this is a manual process to make this automated copy the code and head over to chat gdp now paste the code and ask chat gdp that how to make this code automated so that no manpower is required ChatGTP will give you all the step-by-step -step instructions so that you can make uh, the things automated. Now, uh, for a ha human being, it's not possible to copy, uh, like look, to analyze the market and mine the coins uh, every time. So this script will make your work automated. So I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you learned something uh, from this video, hit the like button. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and as well as your family. And Comment is free for everyone. Just go and comment down that what is the biggest takeaway of yourself from this video 